is a place of power, speed, danger, and desire. A sun-scorched proving ground where highly skilled pilots push the aviation envelope to its limit and beyond. Its 44 square miles of dry desert lake bed has witnessed some of the most remarkable events in human history and some of its worst tragedies. Here, the imagination takes flight and hope for a brighter future soars among the clouds. Edwards, thunder in the desert. In the fall of 1947, a young pilot attempted something few had dreamed possible, to fly faster than the speed of sound. His name was Chuck Yeager. If there was one installation in the Air Force that Chuck Yeager related to and that it has his indelible stamp, it's clearly Edwards Air Force Base. Here's an individual whose life represents that really of the consummate test pilot. At the West Gate at Edwards, a different kind of ritual is taking place. Not as lofty, but just as serious. In an era rife with terrorist threats, the world's preeminent aircraft testing facility is a prime target. The men and women who keep this base safe are not only protecting the top secret flight programs, but also the people who make Edwards their home. At night, the base is often bathed in seemingly miraculous moonlight. Okay, if you guys could spread out a little bit, and we'll just kind of start heading that way and see what we can find out here. But the work does not stop. Sir, can I see your hands, please? At a special operations hangar near the base's massive 15,000-foot runway, Colonel Troy Fontaine preps a group of Air Force fighter pilots for the flight of their lives. They are about to attempt something few crews ever will, intentionally putting an F-15 into a tail slide, one of the most deadly configurations in flying. A tail slide occurs when a plane flies straight up until it can fly no more. X-15 program, an aircraft designed for hypersonic speeds and exo-atmospheric flight, the edge of space. Edwards was no longer just training pilots. They were making astronauts who had the right stuff. In 2002, General Yeager flew his last military mission at the show, and riding with him was Colonel Troy Fontaine. Once the, the cloud cover cleared and I looked and we were, we were smack on time and the burners had lit and we were supersonic, yeah, I took a moment to kind of sit back and go, okay, I got Joe Engel on the wing of the airplane, we're supersonic, and I got Chuck Yeager in the front seat. This is cool. <laughs> 